Hello. Today, I'm going to show you how to build this rough and ready chisel rack. Let's get on with it. First, you need to prepare the stock. I use the table saw, making thick parts for the sides and tops, and then cutting very thin strips for the side covers that are about 3mm thick. These then need cutting for length. This will depend on your chisel set. Mine were about 25cm wide and about 15cm tall. You then need to mark out for the lap joints. These, I again use the crosscut sled on the table saw to cut. You have to estimate the height for the blade. In this case, I want about two thirds the thickness of the material. Let's do a test fit. Does it fit together well? Yes. Now for the holes for the chisels. These need careful marking and drilling. You also need to check that you have the right number of holes. I use a 15mm force mark for these holes. Be careful to make sure that they are kept in line. A short cat break. Some of my chisels have a thicker blade and these needed a slot cutting to accommodate this thickness. Let's glue this up. You'll notice I made thin cutouts for the fronts. I later thought of a better way of doing this, which you'll see later on. Now we've glued this up, let's see if everything fits inside. It does. Great. You now need to glue in the front section. This is quite simple and I really enjoy gluing. The basic rack is now complete, but it needs more. So I've cut sides in the top for the case and I've got a groove in the side of the rack for dowels. The basic rack is now complete, but it needs more. So I've cut sides in the top for the case and I've got a groove in the side of the rack for dowels. Careful drilling, make sure everything lines up properly. Continuing the careful theme, tap home the dowels to the correct depth. I cut lap joints in the top rail and pre-drilled for 6mm dowels. This now simply needs further drilling and the dowels to be glued into place. I also wanted to have a flexible way to secure the cover. These holes allow me to peg it closed for transport. To stop the handles rattling, I cut a rebate on the table saw. And glued on extra covers to secure everything in place. This strap is from an old flight bag. I've cut it up here just using a Stanley blade. The nylon was tangling up in the screw thread, stopping them from self-tapping. This was a bit of a problem and needed picking out. After clearing the threads, the screws went in fine. A little adjustment afterwards meant the handle lined up okay. So that's the chisel rack now finished. There are things I would still like to do to this. I'd like to put some finish on. Uh, I would like to put some dividers in between the chisels to help keep them more centrally inside the box. However, that's for another time, and I'll get on with that probably over the weekend. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I'll answer any comments that you make. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.